Staring out the window, reaching for a north star, waiting just to wake up from this nightmare where you could be right back in my arms, dancing to the limbo, stuck here in the middle. You tell me that it's simple, but I could paint a thousand different pictures of what is wrong. But if we turn. Clocks back a couple dials. We should throw them out because time ain't as well. But you fill me up, and I can feel it now. Hello everyone and welcome to their mainstay where we talk travel, lifestyle, and how I fund them. And Today we are back here at home and something big is happening at work today. Well, not at work, but work related. I have an interview at a big floor consulting company and I just thought it's a good time to take you all with me because you know, you can see my struggles before an interview and um, hopefully give you some tips um, when you are going through a technical interview as a software engineer. I know, I know, I know. I admit, I think I might have done it way too much. I did say I moved around too much in my how to multiply your income video, but um, I don't know, the last couple of months in this current role just hasn't been the best and you know my state of mind um, has just been like whew, going down and like a new job or a new thing is not always the answer to everything but um, yeah I'll talk more about that later. In terms of the interview, I will say I'm kind of prepared, kind of not. I usually prepare more um, and that is something I might do during the day as well. So yeah, I can't wait to take you to another day in the life of a software engineer interview edition. <laughs> Y'all know the drill, it's stand up time. Getting ready, getting ready. It's too obvious I'm dressed up. Do I just not turn on my cam? Nah, I don't need to explain myself. I just feel like I feel like it. Okay, cool. Join. Doing well, thank you. How about you? No, I just felt like it. I woke up early today. <laughs> just um, prepare for the interview. So first impressions is important. I have interviewed before when I used to be a lead software engineer and you know in the process you get different flavors of this but the first question an interviewer asks is tell me about yourself. Now you have two to five minutes to basically have your elevator pitch and tell them why should they hire you. When I was interviewing developers for a role, whenever I asked this question, one of them even said, have you not read my CV? Like, honey, now is not the time to be a smart ass. Like, you can be smart, but not a smart ass. You don't just say what's on your CV. You don't just list down what you have done. You have to highlight the value that you are going to provide a team and you're going to say, why should they hire you? So what I want to highlight for this five minute elevator pitch is how I was able to influence and implement um, a BFF back and forefront and architecture design in the current um, application and rewrite what they currently have into this landscape in just two weeks. Wow. Because it will show that I am proactive, I take initiative, and also I am able to deliver. Some people just talk and that's it, they just talk. I talk and actually smash it out of the park and that is why you should hire me. No, God. <laughs> Lunch is 
going to be super quick. It's just leftover from dinner. I need the carbs to load up the brain and I need to shut up. No, that's the thing. Sorry, we are in certain versions of React. It's not a single page app at the moment. I was just like, oh, gonna do routing right now. Eight minutes before the interview. Hi, how's it going? Yeah, how are you? I'm doing really well, thank you. How about you? Yeah, happy to be here. No worries at all. Excited to be here, actually. <laughs> the interview started with a background of the company, the team, and the project, including their current technical stack. Um, so I do have a question in the technical stack before um, I talk about myself. There's no golden rule about when you should ask your questions and I'd say any time, especially when it's important. I asked about the technical stack to help tailor my answers later on. Yeah. I, I'll talk about myself now. <laughs> so I am currently a senior software engineer. I'm contracting at so at the moment, um, what I am working on is obviously React and um, TypeScript. So this is the part where I talked about the technologies I've used to showcase what I know. However, um, it's not just about their latest and greatest. It is always about choosing the right tool for the um, problem that you're solving pretty much. And now I'm moving on to my elevator pitch and we practice this. So let's go. And in two weeks, I was able to influence the team and get them all on board to um, re-architect it. Let's put it back in for front end. Let's put a BFF and also rewrite and refactor all the code <laughs> that they have done in six months into those two weeks, which I think is, you know, a really huge um, contribution uh, to the team already. Time to wrap up and end strong. I usually end my introduction with what I care about as a software engineer. At the end of the day, for me, what I really value is, you know, delivering that, um, delivering high quality software that serves a value to the customers. And that is always something that I'll be passionate about and be proactive about, regardless of whether I'm a permanent or contractor, it doesn't matter, I care about the product. I was asked several technical questions and some of them are specific to React while some are generic but foundational tech questions. This is my answer about ensuring quality. 100%. I'm um, sorry. <laughs> uh, we never deploy a code without the right level of um, unit testing. So we use Jest and React testing library. Um, I know there is also Enzyme but I am really leaning far further from Enzyme because with React Testing Library. Uh Don't be afraid to voice your opinions and show some personality. We then moved on to the behavioral and ways of working types of questions. And one question was, what's the difference between Agile and Waterfall? Okay, cool. Um, with Agile, I, w I sound like an Agile coach saying this, but... <laughs> I said that I sound like an Agile coach, not because it's basic, but but because I was about to say Agile as I see it and agility is a mindset. And so what if there's a question that you don't know the answer to? If you absolutely have not heard of it, simply say I don't know and move on. But if you have some idea about it, say what you know, just like this. So. I will say accessibility and performance are still my personal work in progress. So I'm still in the process of learning and implementing a lot of these. So from what I know so far about performance. The Q&A lasted for more than half an hour and towards the end of the interview, she started giving some feedback and said that I was different. That the way I communicate and present myself will fit the consulting life. <laughs> Thank you. Alrighty, nice to meet you too. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. 
Okay, so the interview went well. They are now asking for my GitHub repositories because there is no way I am doing a coding test this weekend. After that, there should be another interview with the client. Anyway, I have another meeting now and it's, it should be fun. And I will end it here. I hope you all learned something today and if you're going through an interview process, I wish you all the best and you got this. What happens next? I guess you'll find out in the next videos. Not next week, maybe the week after or when I feel like posting it. <laughs> Bye!